Akashic Records reading 1024. I fully and completely open to the true source that flows through every aspect of all that is. The Akashic Records are opening on behalf of the collective here on Earth in July 2024. Together we trust our connection to Divine Source and know that love, light, and truth of who the collective is in their experiences and their understandings remain unbroken and everlasting throughout all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Together we ask a line and open for the collective soul guidance team to bring forth wisdom that is held in the highest and best for all. Together we open our hearts, minds, and wills to the truth in this moment. Together we trust that the collective's essence flows through every experience and commit to discovering our divine light. In the name of all that is good, sacred, true, and soul aligned, we open this sacred space with choice, clarity, intention, and an open mind and heart, and so it is. asking what is the best guidance for all of us today what are the things that we need to contemplate in these earth energies where so many people are in flux in transition making great shifts in their lives yet many blocks remain from the old system, from the old beliefs. How can we get past that? How can we deal with moving forward in abundance and success when there are many stubborn blocks, stubborn old patterns, Greetings! We hear you. We acknowledge this very powerful special time on earth that is happening right now. What you are calling the great awakening or the great shift in awareness and consciousness. And beloveds, it's true. You are here at this time to be the pioneers, to be at the forefront of these new energies and new ways for humans to exist on the planet today. Fear not, we know it is um, very large, what you might consider a difficulty or challenge. And we want to assure you that it is really a very special time. And to embrace, embrace all the ways that you are present for this. Many of you already understand in your hearts that you have come at this time with, with a soul mission. And for this, we appreciate that inner work you have done to remove so many shadows, so many obstacles in your path, and yet the work is never done. We don't want to laugh, but it is funny. The way the human experience is composite of so many variables and how to move forward, how to get a container in which, uh, just a moment, we are gathering our thoughts. The container in which you can compartmentalize and make sense of things is what the brain wants to do, but this doesn't work really in the spiritual level. And so there are many techniques that can get you to the space and place of where you can energize with your truest, highest frequencies for the best interest of all and what is in the best interest of all is what you can do for yourself. 
what you can do with yourself, for yourself, feeds into the collective. And we want people to, we invite people to understand this, what was called uh, we, we thinking instead of I, the individual, but it is rooted in the individual. What you can do in, within, inside yourself feeds into the collective. And so what you focus on, you know this cliche platitude, what you focus on uh, gives it energy. And so what are you giving energy to? And be, where, be aware of where your thoughts go. Bring yourself back to centering. Perhaps a meditation or a quiet, silent time or walking meditation can be very useful several times a day because if you are truly seeking to alter your life to be in different circumstances than what you have been gathering and gaining before now, if you are wanting to improve your quality of life or move into spaces uh, unknown that may be at levels of abundance you have never experienced in this lifetime before, we recommend that you refocus, bringing it back together, refocusing, aligning throughout the day. And what this does is it allows you to look at where your mind is going in default, where it is drifting to by default on autopilot, and to try and minimize and reduce as many times as possible that, that you are in that default mode. And then what happens is to energize the place that of, of your becoming those wonderful, beautiful desires and is to be present. And you know about the technique. So many uh, teachers, spiritual teachers, law of attraction teachers, all these uh, types of new consciousness thinking talk about being in the moment and feeling the feeling as if you're already there, as if you're already in it right now. And we say, yes, that is the way. Uh, and you can do it from a higher perspective. And this is where meditation or um, journeys come in, where you can go to that place of in the quantum. You can go into the silence, go in to whatever methods you use to take yourself, take your energy out of your body Many people might call it out-of-body experience or shamanic journeys or those kind of things. And this way you can travel to the void, to the field of infinite possibilities. And from here, you put in your spheres of desire. From here, all things are possible and you're in the present moment. So there is no past and there is no future and you are not even in your body. You are outside of the space-time and this is where the supposed magic can happen. And so when you do this daily, you will begin to resonate with those frequencies. And in this resonance, is where you can make shifts. But we want to remind you and encourage you that this is not something you do a couple of times. It needs to be part of your life, part of your new experience in these personal changes that so many of you are making right now in upgrading your life, uh, updating your nutrition and, and wellness on all levels. We see so many people caring for themselves in new ways and this type of self-love is very powerful and very necessary in order to reach these other levels of, of 
lighter densities which you're so desirous of bringing into the new earth reality and so we summarize in saying that it is by taking your energy out into pure form which is what you are in essence before you came into your body and going on that journey to the quantum realms of infinite possibility and so there you are in the present moment and you don't need to say exactly what it is experiences that you're dreaming of or desirous of you just go there be in it and experience the bliss and the pure energy of being in the now moment and from moment to moment to refocus your mind out of its default mechanism out of its autopilot look at watch and look where your mind and thoughts have gone and bring them back refocus and then energize out of body as your pure energy source at least once a day do this consecutively for 80 days you may wish to continue for years to come and this is also very good but when you think about time and timing I know I can hear many people thinking but I need a solution now and let us remind you that solution energy is all around abounds throughout your third dimension reality it is what is required for you to energize with that solution and it will come to you and so in this way there is no timing because the work is done outside of space time and so when you come back into body into your physical reality you can expect that it will be provided in before you need it and we won't put any time on it time is also shifting on your planet as more and more of the human collective um, re-understand how time works and that it is a man-made human-made concept that doesn't actually exist we won't go into time right now but there are many uh, experts who are talking on the matter that you can pursue if you're interested in understanding how you're experiencing the new time frequencies as some things are happening faster and some things are getting a delay and the delay is because if you are not in alignment if you're not attuned to those solution frequencies that you seek then in your human nature it's natural you grow anxious or get frustrated or worried that it's not coming it's not happening I didn't do it right and beloved ones dear ones we want to assure you you are doing it right and it is available to you it is a matter of reshifting your focus again and again and again in order to align with that which you seek and make it a daily practice as we have mentioned and so if there are no further questions are there any more questions okay we will leave it with that for today and we wish everyone who has come to receive this message please accept the love and the grace and the ease and the flow with which we with which we bestow upon everyone who has heard this message and seen this exchange Oh, wow. Um, I, I heard everything. Um, recalling the details, though, I have
have to try and remember all of it. So fortunately, we have this on recording. Thank you to the essence of love, light, and truth that eternally supports and guides and opens in this sacred space. May the collective be open to the transformation that came from this soul-aligned wisdom, understanding, and truth that is eternally held in the highest and best for all. May we embody and live all that we received in this moment as our new vibrational reality. We honor all the soul-level teachers and guides, seen and unseen, trusting in our consciousness, intentional expansion, and highest potential. La Alam Amin Amin. And so, beautiful people, I have returned a few hours later after reviewing the recording and what was said. And I'd like to offer those of you who have remained to the end here and are still tuned in, I'm going to offer three quantum spheres to help to activate and manifest um, what else is possible into your life. And so without going into too much detail about um, how I do it, because that part is uh, requires a special training, I would just preface it with these are um, spheres of plasma that are going out into the quantum realms, out into the ethers. And I'd like to offer three uh, aspects that are going to go into each one so if you'd like to relax and settle in get comfortable I'll guide you through each one the first one is going to be worthiness worthiness because that is something that so many of us struggle with um, given any number of variety of things from our early age, our early years, up and through to today, given the human experience and what's happened in our interactions uh, through life with family, friends, career, bosses, colleagues, and so forth. So worthiness is the first one. The next one is going to be the energy of more than enough because that's another one that many people, if you're watching this, tuning in, you may very likely also, I deal with this one, the whole issue of having just enough, just enough to get by. Sometimes it's a little more in life, sometimes it's a little less it goes hand in hand with feeling feeling worthy or not worthy and that is barely enough having barely enough or just enough that came from so many different angles to what <clears throat> if you look back at what did your parents think about money and what was your role in earning money your first experiences in earning money and how has that played out through your life so we're going to put in the energy of more than enough more than enough of everything more than enough of the love in your life new connections coming in more than enough uh, sunny weather more than enough food in the refrigerator even some other things <laughs> that may be less desirable like more than enough heat or high temperatures or um, weather that you don't love more than enough time more than enough comforts and experiences and all the good things and the third sphere today is going to be expansive universal love so that you may generate that within yourself and also feeling it and receiving. So being in receiving mode now, I will begin.
And just take a deep breath in, exhaling through the mouth. Just gives us a little reset and tuning in to the concept of worthiness. Knowing that you are here as a child of Earth. Gaia, Mother Earth, your real true mother. Father Sky, your real true father. And there is great abundance on this planet, more than enough for everyone. And you are worthy of receiving everything you need and more. You are worthy person, just like everyone, every creature, every elemental force. You are worthy of existing and receiving all that you need in your life. And so make a heart connection to that feeling. Connect it to your heart. You might even say out loud, I am worthy. I know I'm worthy. Just by being me. Just by being here. This is the human experience. And the second one, the second sphere, quantum sphere going out, is that of more than enough. More than enough of everything. More than enough rest. More than enough food. More than enough time. More than enough good friend connections, more than enough love, more than enough, more than enough time, more than enough joy and time to do things that you love. And so feeling into that energy of more than enough of everything. And you are worthy of this. And making a heart connection to the sphere I am putting out. And the third one, universal love, expansive universal love, knowing that I am love. You can say out loud, I am love. I give love. I receive love. I am love. And there are more than enough opportunities to give and receive love to all people you come in contact with or have contracts with. Whether you like them or not, whether you know them well or not, we can still project love, universal, expansive love. So put your heart connection with that. And we're sending it out. Whew. 
That feels good. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Colleen, also known as the Healing Visionary in my one-to-one individual healing sessions and Atlantean soul purpose readings that I do. Thanks for watching.